Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. One of the biggest fights that could have been made in the heavyweight division has been made. After weeks of speculation and uncertainty, it has been announced that WBC champion Deontay Wilder will face dangerous Cuban Southport Luis Ortiz on November 4th in Brooklyn, New York. Hallelujah, the boxing gods have truly delivered us another great matchup. For Wilder, this is a chance to prove he's elite and to stake his claim as the number one heavyweight out there. That's a moniker that most fans believe belongs to Anthony Joshua right now. For Ortiz, this is his first chance to fight for a major title. It must be noted Ortiz has been a ranked fighter for six years, so this title shot is long overdue. And no, I'm not counting that interim belt that he held with the WBA. So this is really a high-risk, high-reward fight, with the winner sure to gain a lot of glory and plaudits, and it will also set up the chance to fight Anthony Joshua in early 2018. That will be a massive clash. But for the loser, especially if one of these guys gets blasted out of there in a round or a couple of rounds, they will likely be labelled a fraud and a hype job by many fans. But for me, I commend both Wilder and Ortiz for taking on this challenge, you know, this is a fight fans want to see. I know Wilder is promising to knock Ortiz out, but then again, that's what he always promises to do, and he largely delivers. So a press conference is scheduled for later in the week, and word is Danny Jacobs may be on the undercard. So that's already shaping up as a decent card, just with those few names. Joseph Parker's promoter, David Higgins, He's been ejected from his fighter's press conference with Huey Fury for an unruly outburst that led to a verbal spat with trainer Peter Fury. It's $14.99 in the UK and $16.99 in Euros in Ireland. We want to hear all this from you in a minute as long as you sort of squeal all the trouble. Really? Squealing like a pig. You know what? Gentlemen, you get to what you do. You're lucky I'm talking. You'll sell more TV than I fire up. Guess what? You can't win. Hey, the cousin of the referee, you can't win. You will have your opportunity. Everybody will have their opportunity to ask questions of everybody on this top table, of everybody on this top table in due course. Now is not the time or place for this. Okay. And anything you want to fucking do about your bodyguards, come here. Listen, who gives a fuck about you anyway? Go on, Snow White. Hey! Take a fucking line! Who gives a fuck about you? Or your fucking bodyguards? You've gone from the street! Fuck off! Dickhead! Squealing like a pig! Don't belong in fighting circles, let the men fight! Fucking dummy! If you didn't catch what that was about, at the heart of the issue is the decision by the British Boxing Board of Control not to appoint a neutral referee for the fight as was stipulated by the WBO and also it was provided for in the fight contract. My own view here, given the lacklustre state of the promotion run by Hennessy Sports, which has confirmed just 5,000 tickets have been sold for the 23rd September fight for the 21,000 seat Manchester Arena. I tend to think it's more of a publicity stunt designed to push the fight to the masses. Remember, Duco has the broadcasting rights for New Zealand, Australia and Samoa and will want pay-per-view sales at nearly 40 bucks a pop in New Zealand and Australia to be as healthy as possible. Being in New Zealand, I can certainly attest to the fact that the fight having been in the UK, the interest here is not nearly as high as it has been in the past when Parker has fought in New Zealand. But this outburst, it's been grabbing headlines in New Zealand and leading the sports bulletins. So a few casuals, no doubt, will be pulled in. Maybe more. Former unified heavyweight champion Tyson Fury, he has made a plea for the UK anti-doping agency, UCAD, to either ban him or set him free on historic allegations of PED use. Fury says how long must he be held up and kept out of action? He's been under investigation for 15 months and he's being treated differently from others. That's what he claims. See the message on screen here that he posted to social media. So the Gypsy King says, surely there must be a human rights law preventing this happening to people and says he wants to move on with his life. 
So Fury has, not for the first time in recent days, weeks or months, has stated that he's coming back to boxing after a hiatus of sorts. He says he wants to fight Anthony Joshua, who he refers to as a pumped-up weightlifter. Fury does not currently hold a boxing license in the UK, and that's another hurdle he must clear before he makes a return to the ring. That's it from me. Hit like, subscribe, drop a comment. Follow me on Twitter, boxing underscore squared. I'm out.